Hi, this is Terrell from Trailer Chicks, and I'm gonna show you a few ways that your refrigerator is a little different than the one you're probably used to at home. Now, the first thing to notice is that the handles on it are a little bit different than your handles at home. Instead of just pulling out and releasing the door, there's actually a clip that you need to pinch, and then you'll be able to pull the door open. So we're gonna start, I'm just gonna point a few things out that are inside the freezer unit and then I'll talk about the refrigerator underneath. There's an on off button. If you turn it on and off, the way you know that it's on is that you will then get a temperature and power source reading on this display right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave it on. The next button over is for auto and gas. That basically lets you know if you're pulling off of power or pulling off of your propane. And if you look up on the actual display, you will see that there's a very small dot and it'll be underneath auto. When in the auto position, the refrigerator will search for the first available power source. Or if you hit it again, the dot will move over to the next digit and that will let you know that you're running off of your propane. Now the last button is the temperature set and that is exclusively for the freezer unit. The refrigerator opens the same way, same handle with the pinch. When you pull it open, the one thing that's different in this refrigerator than your refrigerator at home is a thermostat unit. So instead of having a dial that you can control, instead there's a clip that clips onto the back grill. Now, if you're noticing that your refrigerator is not staying cold, chances are that this thermostat has slipped off the grid in the back and you'll need to reattach it. So you wanna make sure that the plug is attached to the plastic clip and you want to reattach the clip to the very last fin in the back. So the one that's farthest to the right as you're looking at the refrigerator. Start by pre-cooling your refrigerator at least 12 hours prior to loading it. Load your refrigerator with cold food to reduce the refrigerator's cooling time. Don't pack food tightly in the refrigerator because this will prevent circulation of cool air around the food. And you are ready to go out shopping. Remember, proper maintenance and care will keep you and your Airstream happy for years to come. Find more tips on Airstream.com or visit your local Airstream dealer.